Hi, I'm Julia Lee, and I'm here at WeedonCon 2018 in Los Angeles. Um, we are about to take some photos with fans, and uh, I'm here because I was on Buffy and Angel. Um, well, so I got a, I actually auditioned for a previous episode of Buffy, and I did not book that part. And then they called me back in, Marsha Shulman, the casting director, called me back in for the episode that I ended up on. And the character was originally described as being a nerdy goth girl. So I was dressed in my nerdiest, blackest best. And, um, I was on my way there and I got a phone call letting me know that the character had changed and now she was supposed to be a sexy goth girl. I thought, well, there's only so much I can do, I'm already dressed. And I showed up and did the audition and also the material was new. So got there, had only a minute to look it over. Usually the waiting room is so crowded, but this day was not and they were waiting for me. So I looked it over just for a few minutes, uh, went in read and uh, the person that I thought was the assistant in the corner was chuckling in his overalls and Doc Martens and I thought hey somebody likes what I'm doing and then 45 minutes after I left they called me and said you booked the part and I thought how is that even possible I mean I didn't get a call back I didn't go read for producers nothing and of course I showed up on set to find out that the, the guy in the corner the, the PA was Joss <laughs> and so he was he was the one chuckling in the corner and uh, that's how I got the part right so every time I got a phone call I was shocked telling me they were gonna bring the character back because I it didn't I, it didn't really occur to me that there was a future for Chanterelle. <laughs> you know, I, I felt bad for her. Um, she was clearly searching for something, for meaning, for a place to belong, and um, you know, things went downhill even further for a while. Uh, and you know, they had me come back and read. I think. I can't remember for which episode, but one more episode because they said, look, we just want to make sure that you can, you, you portrayed this very lost girl, but, but can you, can you make her grow? And so the, and I did, and they said, fantastic. Then we're definitely writing this into the script. And so she did eventually find her way. And I think she found her way in just a beautiful story arc and unexpected, you know, I don't think anybody thought this character was going to persistently show up. Um, I mean, I, th I think, you know, in terms of the character for Lily slash Anne in the episode of Buffy where she's homeless, you know, uh, just reading, reading and then also performing the scene where she's up there being threatened uh, by Ken and who's now the demon and then just like finding it in herself to push that, <laughs> push that guy off the edge and is shocked at herself. I mean, she can't believe she did it. And it made me cheer for her and it made me very proud of her and it, and it made me happy to do that. So fans, thanks for watching. You know, thanks for supporting such a phenomenal show. And it's it's been thrilling to be a part of it. And it still is. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>